welcome to my L.O.T. guide for Reaper. I'll be talking to you guys through the dungeon as I do it. Um, in the top left corner, you'll be seeing what uh, cruxes I'm using. And I'll be linking my glyphs in the description. From here there's two possible ways you can go. You can go either left or right, but I personally prefer going right because the mobs are easier to kill. I don't bother with the jumping down and hiding under the stairs thing here because most of the time it doesn't work on my reaper and I can kill them mobs fast enough so it doesn't matter for me. pile up the mobs if you have gear enough. If you don't have gear enough, be careful and try to kill them in uh, smaller stacks, otherwise you'll die. So this boss doesn't do a whole lot, he just hits kinda hard and at a certain percentage, some around 75 something, he does an attack and the pillars around him, they start to blow stuff and if you get hit by it, you get the mana debuff and the other pillars, they beam you so you get knocked down, so just try to avoid them. So the next boss is a bit trickier, at 80% something she gets a rage and she jumps up and if you get hit by that jump you'll get silenced for one minute in which you can't use any spells and you can only run around so you want to try that, avoid that at all costs. As a reaper you can use retribution to dodge the attack and also launch a counter attack. third and final mini boss has one special attack he does it at like 80% 60% something like that and what he does is he casts a shield and prepares for a powerful attack and smashes into the ground a couple of times the shield is about 60% damage reduction so just stand behind him and keep attacking him Here you can see that he casts the shield and smashes him to the ground. He doesn't turn around during that so you can stand behind him and attack. So now we're going to the fourth boss, which is a real boss. I'll be speeding up this part a bit till we arrive at the boss because it's quite boring just killing trash.
So this is the fourth boss. Um, change your crystals to boss crystals as displayed in the top left corner. Uh, it's not a hard boss, just try to dash through him all the time and watch out for his bigger attacks. Um, at 30% you will do a range explosion. Uh, if you stay away from that, like you will die. You need to get as close to him as possible. This is the big explosion that I mentioned, but I killed him before he could do that. So what you do now is you run to the second room, so not the room with the mobs, but the one after that. And there's a possibility of there being like a gnome-ish. Uh, if you kill him, you get a shortcut to the last boss. And luckily, I got that. This one is a normal mob. In the video, I forgot to switch my crystals, but you should use normal crystals for him. Just skip those and run till you get to the teleporter. We've arrived at the last boss of uh, uh, Labyrinth of Terror. This is Killian, and there's only one thing that actually kills you here. Well, you need to dodge his normal attacks, but one attack is uh, one shot at a certain percentage, like 75%, 15, 25. He walks to the middle and says, "Attack me, ape!" in the middle of the screen. The giant that's on his throne will start to breathe fire, and if you're in the middle at that time, you will instantly die. So just take him to the site and kill him there. Now he's gonna do the fire thing because he said attack you ape and You'll see the giant with an arrow pointing at him.
Well, this was the dungeon uh, with the shortcut, which was very nice. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you later.